Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Natalia. Thank you so much for visiting. Today I just have a quick unboxing for you of this lovely painting from Diamond Dots. Um, so as you may know, I've been collecting Van Gogh diamond paintings. I mean, I don't have so many yet. Um, I have a couple unboxings that I want to do for you. Um, but uh, I've been keeping my eye out for uh, any more Van Gogh uh, diamond paintings. And I know that Diamond Dots have quite a few of his. Um, and so I'm kind of gradually collecting them and uh, I've been keeping my eye out uh, for any sales and um, on Amazon occasionally Diamond Dots uh, paintings, um, the, the price is basically reduced for whatever reason and luckily enough I looked and on the day when I looked uh, this painting was half the price as normally uh, so straight away I hit the, the, you know, I put it into my basket and um, you know it arrived the next day uh, so that's one great thing about Diamond does that you can get a lot of their paintings on Amazon uh, and uh, this is one of um, kind of more rare uh, paintings from Van Gogh I actually don't know very much about this painting I will need to look up some um, history of you know what is actually because it's quite an unusual scenery um, it looks a bit tropical um, so I'm not really sure how how that happened because I don't think Van Gogh traveled um, to very tropical tropical places um, maybe it just looks very tropical I need to look up maybe it's actually somewhere in Europe and it's just um, the way he's painted it it looks more tropical but there is a bridge in the back um, and there's a couple of boats as you can see and a person sitting on a boat so I don't know much about this painting uh, but I think it's a very lovely painting and I just wanted to I haven't actually seen this one unboxed so I also wanted to see what it's like uh, I'm not sure if it comes with any ABs uh, it says on the side that it has 32 colors and 24,325 drills. So it's not a very big painting. Um, it's one of the smaller ones. Uh, so it's 50 by 40. So in Diamond Dots, they always give you the design size, which is the actual drilling area, and then fabric size as well. Um, yeah, and they give you some instructions in the back. So actually also, I'm glad that I ha found this one because I have some, the other Diamond Dots paintings that I have, I haven't worked on any yet, uh, but I have, have gotten rid of the boxes when I was moving houses. Uh, I didn't want to have too many boxes and I'm the Diamond Dots boxes are not like my favorite um, because they're not like very, very sturdy. Um, and you know they're also not like the prettiest boxes so I got rid of the ones that I had so the other ones that I have don't actually have boxes but here on this one you can see the whole thing when I unbox it you can see what it, this is how it comes to you um, so as I said I ordered it from Amazon so it came in a bigger cardboard box um, that was an Amazon just a standard Amazon box and of course now I realize I don't have scissors but well I, I can go and grab them or maybe I'll be able to just do this um, there's probably another piece of tape on this side. Well, if it gets boring, I may just cut this this out or nah, I, think, I think I'm managing. Eh, there we go. Okay, it's all good. All good, all good. So, this is the canvas. So the canvas comes in this plastic kind of wrapping, uh, which says add some sparkle to your world, which is, a, I think, a logo or, or a slogan of diamond dots and inside the box there are also drills and I think that's it I think the toolkit where's the toolkit I don't think it's in the box is there a oh there it is okay I was like where is the toolkit okay everything's there all good okay so we'll look at the canvas first of all. Um, so as I said, I haven't actually worked on any diamond dots yet. I have a couple of their painting already, but I haven't worked on them. Uh, the canvas is quite a thick, um, thick kind of material. Um, it's a very sturdy fabric. Um, I'm not sure if it's polyester, um, but it's a very, very sturdy fabric. Um, I think it flattens by itself. Um, we'll see. So let me just unroll it. So you can see the legend straight away. It's very nice and big, so so you can see all the symbols very, very clearly. Now one thing about uh, Diamond Dots is that they don't use DMC codes. Um, and I think, I think there was a reason for it. So, so I think DMC codes are actually pro proprietary, so they actually belong to the... So DMC is a company. DMC is a company, they produce floss for cross-stitch and, and other things. Uh, and they... 
so so the, the numbering for DMC codes comes from that company. So I think Diamond Dots didn't want to get into trouble for, for taking the, the numbers from DMC, but everybody else does it now. But Diamond Dots actually, I believe, was the first ever company to do diamond painting, as far as I know. And maybe they wanted to do it properly. Uh, so they instead of using DMC codes, they use their own codes. Uh, so I think... Is these numbers here, the black ones, that are their codes, but also here you have like A32, A4. So these, I think, they are just the, the number of that color on this particular painting. So it goes from 1 to 32. And these numbers on the side are the actual colors of the drill. So in case if you ever wanted to buy um, Diamond Dots sell drills separately as well, so you can buy just the drills from them. I believe from their website probably you can get some. I know that in the US you can actually go to a store, like a crafty store, and you can actually buy uh, diamonds. We don't have these kind of uh, stores in the UK, uh, so um, potentially you may be able to buy them online. Uh, but also that, that would be coming from abroad as well, because we don't have Diamond Dots in the UK. Um, Yes, but anyway, so, so you, if you ever wanted to buy the drills, these are the numbers. Uh, so I guess also when you store the drills, um, if you're working on a lot of diamond dots paintings, you may be able to store, like, if you ever want to combine them, uh, these are the numbers that you need to use. Okay, so the canvas itself. Ooh, it's pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. So it's a bit folded over itself in here, I don't know if you can see it. So it came like this and the actual plastic is kind of unsticking a bit uh, because this has been, it looks like it's been folded very, uh, very heavily and it's been like this for a while probably. So let me just try and flatten it out. I'm, I'm never very good at this. Uh, I know people somehow manage to roll things backwards. Um, let me see if I can do this. So if I roll it the other direction, now you can only do this with poured glue, never do this with double-sided adhesive. And the, how do you know that you've got poured glue and not double-sided adhesive? Well, poured glue has this transparent plastic cover and double-sided adhesive comes with this white um, cover so that you can't actually see the image and it pulls much harder. So the plastic comes off quite easily whilst um, to pull out that white cover from double-sided tape is it's much more difficult. So it's got a bit of creases, but I'm hoping it will it will flatten out. But they, it looks lovely. I'm actually loving the image. I'm loving the image. Um, it's very beautiful. So the painting is called Fishing in Spring. And again, as I said, I don't know very much about this painting and maybe I should have done some research um, before, but when I work on it, and one day I will, I <laughs> don't know when that will be, but when I work on it, I will make sure to do some research and to find out a little bit more to tell you about this painting and uh, how it came about. I never actually came across this painting until I saw it on Diamond Dot's website. Um, but it's beautiful, it's very colorful, um, so I'm sure we'll have very beautiful drills uh, for it. Um, so I'm just looking at the symbols, the symbol clarity, so you can see they're very, the ones here, so a lot of them are alphabetical and so, some are not, um, but they're, they appear to be quite easy to read. Now this is a smaller canvas, so I don't think we need to do a separate tour of the canvas. I'm just going to show you a bit of zoom on here because it feels, fits quite nicely in my, um, in my camera, you know, and in, in it fits in because sometimes when I have bigger, I can't speak, seriously. When I have bigger canvases, they don't fit into the frame. And then I, I, I usually do like this tour of the canvas, but I think for this one, we're fine. We can see most of it um, as it is. Okay, so we have the drills here and you can see they come they are labeled with this sticker telling you the number of this so so this is the number here in the corner of this painting as well as the title fishing in spring van gogh so uh how do i open this uh okay here at the bottom so if you want to store your drill separately you can because of this label you can safely do it and you won't get confused Diamond Dots Toolkit is a very standard toolkit. One thing that you, you like it's unique to Diamond Dots is that you get a grey tray. I don't think any other company does a grey tray, so it's a kind of signature from them. You get quite a few buggies. You get a pen with a squishy. 
Mm, like that. It's a pink squishy. It's, it's quite lovely. And then we have a pink wax with the Diamond Dots logo on the little wax caddy. Okay. That's all good. That's all very standard. Um, nothing missing. We don't get any multiplacers from them. We just get the pen like this. Okay. It's a bit sad, isn't it? They're having that hole here. But anyway. And okay, the drills. Let's have a look at the drills. So 32 colors. I'm quite curious um, about the color, color palette. Um, and I love oranges. I, I absolutely love oranges. So I'm very happy about having these lovely oranges here. So again, they're not DMC. So we can we don't know which numbers they are from DMC. I'm also looking just in case we have any ABs. Though I don't see, but I don't know how they write them on the legend, to be honest, when they are ABs. Um, oh, we do, we do, we do, we do. There. These green. So in case you're new to diamond painting, which probably you're not, but in case you are, ABs are drills which have a bit of special coating on top. Uh, so they are green, but they have that extra sparkly coating. It's kind of like, a, it makes them sparkle in different colors, depending on how light hits them. And then also in round drills, they will make this, this um, diamonds around them, they will also sparkle more because they're next to them, because like the light reflects from the round drills better. So, that's, so we have this lovely green AB, and um, this is A01, so this is that first one. So I don't actually see, they don't seem to be like noting that this is any special, but it's, oh, maybe, maybe it's the number. So the numbers, see, the other numbers are like 8,000 something, 8,000, 8,000, but this one is 5,008. So maybe the 5,000 denotes an AB. So I'm just having a quick glance and I can see that the number at the end also starts with 5,000 and I believe that's going to be white. So... It's probably this one, A32. So we have another AB, which is white AB. Uh, so again, you can see that special coating on top. You can see that extra sparkle from my light. Okay. So we have two ABs in this one, which is lovely. Uh, other colors, a lot of greens. Very bright greens. Some blues. Yeah, quite, actually quite quite a bit of blue. <laughs> That's quite a bit of blue in here, isn't it? Yeah, and then some darker blue, some lighter blues. Um, a bit of black, I think? Or dark, no, it's very dark brown. Very dark brown. More green. And that's, that's about it, really. A little bit of brown. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to put these away now. I may put them back in the box later um, and keep this box. Um, I know I haven't kept other boxes from them, but I'll keep this one. It also comes with this big instruction that tells you about diamond painting it in like, I don't know how many languages, but very many languages. I, I don't think anybody reads this. So it's a bit of a waste of paper, but anyway, it's okay. Um, so I was going to, what else was I going to do? I don't know. Now I'm, now I'm lost. Um, I, mean, I don't know. Should I measure this canvas? Um, I mean, it's diamond dots um, and they give you, they give you actual fabric size as well so it would be very strange if they were lying about this um and you can see this is roughly four centimeters uh, which would match up with, with the sizing that they give you uh, so i wouldn't be too concerned about the measurements um so we've gone through the drills we've gone through the toolkit and we've got through the canvas i mean if you have any questions uh, please leave me a comment and i will happily answer them oh i know i know one one last thing i know i know i wanted to check where the ab's are going um, but well, it's going to be probably kind of hard because I suspect they're scattered throughout the painting, but let's just have a look. And straight away, so that X, that's the green AB, we can see a lot of that X in that tree. Right? So there's going to be lots of sparkle in that tree, which is going to be lovely. I love it when ABs are like um, scattered rather than being one part, but they're scattered throughout a whole piece of the painting. Like here as well, the leaves will be sparkly um, and probably here as well. So lots of green ABs which is lovely. And then the white one is the dot. So the dot, oh, the, the one, there weren't that many white ones and I suspect it would be the sky. So if I, I'm just checking if there's any, anywhere else, but I don't think so. So in the sky, 
you can see there are dots throughout the sky so there'll be a bit of sparkle in the sky itself I mean, I haven't worked on diamond dots, but from what I heard, the drills are super sparkly. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how they sparkle and, you know, the quality and how their ABs are looking. Um, I'm actually really looking forward to working on this painting. Um, it's quite a, quite a, it's one of the smaller paintings that I have. Uh, so this one may not be such a long time away because um, it's generally the, the larger paintings that I struggle to find time for. Um, the smaller ones I can, you know, work on. This won't take long to, to finish. So, um, you know, maybe not so not so long. And um, I'd love, I'll definitely share with you guys as I work on it. And as I say, I'll try and do a bit more research on this painting and find out some more information if I can uh, so that you can learn something as well. In case you're interested in Van Gogh, I love Van Gogh. Um, <laughs> yeah, so you'll see you'll see a lot of him on my channel probably. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, guys, for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, um, I would appreciate if you would give me a thumbs up. Um, and also, if you've enjoyed it and you're not subscribing to my channel yet, uh, please subscribe. And uh, if you do, make sure to hit that notification bell to, to be notified about my future videos. Uh, I hope to see you again on my channel. Um, have a lovely day or a lovely evening wherever you are. And I'll see you next time. Bye!